I'm here with Rob Minkoff, who you are certainly familiar with his work for Disney, The Lion King, but now he's over at DreamWorks following Chris Sanders. Yes, right? exactly. And you're doing their new uh, upcoming Mr. Peabody and Sherman, which hits theaters about a year from now in March 2014. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So the premise is a dog adopts a boy. Right. Madness. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> you, that Mr. Peabody and Sherman are the original modern family. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and so uh, to play Mr. Peabody, we actually hired the man from Modern Family, Ty Burrell. He's wonderful, yeah. He, he's amazing. Was he your first choice? Was he who you wanted? Uh, he, yes, absolutely. Amazing, amazing uh, actor who plays a very different role in uh, in Modern Family. Very different. Oh, so, oh, so, oh really? So well, Mr. Peabody is the world's smartest dog. He's a genius. That's not Phil. No, exactly. It's not Phil Dunphy at all. But he's going up against a genius. Isn't Stephen Colbert, right? His nemesis? Yes, Stephen Colbert. Well, you know, St in, in many ways, yes, but Stephen Colbert is an incredible, incredible, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Stephen Colbert, I'm such a big fan of his. Uh, he's just amazing. And I was so glad when, when we got the opportunity to work with him. I said, well, so you have a very smart cast, clearly. Right? I like the sat uh, satirical tone. Mm -hmm. Is that going to carry over into the movie? Absolutely. Well, that's the thing. You know, what we have is such great characters that were, you know, great in their, in their TV show. Uh, and, and people remember how uh, smart Mr. Peabody was, but how smart the writing was and how great the humor was. And, you know, we're hoping that we can take all of that and, you know, remain true to the spirit of it. Well, you know, this was originally with, uh, something that ran with Rocky and Bowling, right? So, I mean, it's, it's well known, but you are going to be introducing it to a lot of people. Yes. Right? Well, I think that's such a great opportunity to be able to share something. I think hopefully parents who remember it from their childhood will be able to share it with their, their kids, you know, who won't know anything about it at all. Did you watch Mr. Peabody and Sherman? I did. What do you remember most about it? Uh, well, you know, the fact that it was a dog that adopted a boy. I mean, <laughs> the you know, the a boy and his dog relationship is sort of familiar to everyone, but... Totally turned on but his head. Totally turned on, exactly, well, on his head. I have to say, every kid wants a dog, right? But I think a lot of kids would be reluctant when they're like, well, how would you like a dog to own you? So what are some of the pluses know. that might not be readily apparent to a kid about being... Being uh, owned by a yeah, dog? What's, what are some of the, the positives? You know, the positives are, you know... It's just a whole different level of, uh, of uh, interactivity, you know? I mean, can, you can't really pet your parent, That's right? <laughs> it, wouldn't, it, wouldn't be, it would not be appropriate. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah and, you know, and the, what you might eat, you know, with, uh, with, a, with a dog as a father would be entirely different than what you would eat with, uh, with a human Is parent. Is Mr. Peabody very dog-like, though? I mean, he wears glasses. A lot like the ones you're wearing, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Very <laughs> much so, very much so. He inspired me. I, I've, I've been, you know, watching him That's for so it. long that I started like, to admire those glasses. I'm like, I like those glasses. I should get a pair. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so all right, so I wanted to ask, the last thing I want to ask is, in film we see a lot of science fiction, but we don't see a lot of science. How are you planning to make science fun for family audiences? Because Mr. Peabody does a lot of experiments. Stuff, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Well, no, he's uh, among his many talents. You know, he's oh, a okay. Nobel Prize winning uh, uh, scientist. He's a, he's a, uh, a world-renowned explorer, and he's an Olympic gold medalist in both the long jump and the well, decathlon. Is there a lot of competition in the dog category, though? Uh, well, not so much, not so much. Uh, but, but as far as science goes, you know, Mr. Peabody is an inventor who did, you know, something that uh, no one else has ever done, which is invent time travel. Is that going to be used in the movie heavily? Absolutely. Oh, that's well, that's, that's the whole thing. Mr. Peabody invented a time machine called the Wayback, which is what he uses to take Sherman to different places in history.